Let's learn all about keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Audition. So um, what am I using to edit my audio? Well, let's actually go over to my screen right now and take a little look. Uh, so this is the area I'm using, by the way, my wonderful presets that work with Adobe Audition available at mrc.fm forward slash presets. So I'm going to use those presets just to record a little piece of audio. Hello, this is Mike, and I'm demonstrating today how exactly I use keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Audition to make things sound good and also up my editing game. Now, the first thing you'll notice is I hit record with uh, my clicky button on my, uh, that's the first thing, not my mouse, but my trackball. Yes, look, one of these. Yes, this is a trackball. It's the Kensington Expert and it's a wired trackball. So instead of using a mouse to edit, I am actually using a trackball. And seriously, trust me, it will change your life when you use a trackball to edit either in my presets or anywhere else because you can move around the screen fluidly. It gives you a better range of motion. And once you go from a mouse to a trackball, whether it's Kensington or another brand, I think Logitech do them as well, uh, you just won't go back and you'll use it for everything. But those that don't use a trackball will actually say to me, I, I don't know how I could, like uh, Isabella, for instance, the lovely Isabella that loves a mouse and she can't actually use my computer because she doesn't know how a trackball works. So there you go, an amazing fact. But the Kensington Expert that I use has uh, actually four buttons on. So instead of the traditional two buttons, you can program two extra. So for me, on my Kensington trackball, I've got like obviously select, which is the left click so I can select things. And then the right click brings up the context menu here to do various different tasks. And then I've got things like uh, cut, uh, like defined as the top left button. So I can click that and it's cut there. And I've got undo as the top right. So I can undo. That's all from my trackball before I even hit the keyboard. So there you go. Some really amazing things that are possible. Now, how would I go ahead and do things with shortcuts? Okay, if I'm moving things around, first and foremost, I'm going to want to maybe uh, trim this stuff up. So I can just trim this in here and trim this in here. Uh, I can get rid of this using the delete key on my keyboard. And then I can also choose to grab this gray box and maybe fade in. If I want to fade in on a voiceover, I can do that. But usually when you're fading in, you want to fade in and fade out at the end. So a better option is to hold down the old key on your keyboard. And look at this symmetrical fade in and fade out. It's very hypnotic, isn't it? So that's holding down alt and left click on your mouse or trackball. And boom, you've got to fade in and fade out. Often I'm recording many jingles at the same time and I need to split them up into segments so I can do my editing later. So I'll just go here, like wherever I want to make the cut, and it's Control or Command for you lovely Mac users and K. And Control or Command K. Look at that. And then I'll use my left mouse key or trackball key and I'll hover over the title to move things around. Uh, and of course, if I want to change views in my presets, because they come with many different views, I hit the shift key and then numbers one to five. So number one will keep me in this recording screen. Number two will take me to the basic editing view where I can then move this around a little bit more. Now, there's a few tips here. I can either go ahead and grab this volume bar and zoomp, make that audio really loud. That's distorted, of course. Uh, Control or Command Z, Z course over here this side of the pond to undo things and another way to do it is select everything right click match clip loudness don't touch those settings hit enter boom you now have pretty loud audio ready to work with when i'm moving this stuff onto different tracks say i've got this ordered in a way that i want to produce the jingle say all those voiceovers are in time and i don't want them moving around anymore but i do want to put them on different tracks okay let's just move this one up here and just play this audio back. So space bar again to play. Hello, this is Mike, and I'm demonstrating today how exactly I use keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Audition to make things sound good. And all Okay, there's just a bit of overlap, so I'm going to move that along. Um, so I want to keep all this voice in time now because I've set it perfectly. So notice if I move this down now, oh, it wiggles about everywhere. But the moment I hit the shift key on my keyboard, Boom, look at that. Now it's locked in time. So if you want to move something to another track, particularly if you're working in presets with lots of different voice effects, hold down shift and move. So this I do all the time. Uh, shift, move to the chorus, and then this one, shift and move to the echo, and this one, shift and move to the 80s voice. And now we've got this.
Hello, this is Mike, and I'm demonstrating today how exactly I use keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Audition to make things sound good. Okay, so you get the idea. Uh, next, I want to uh, maybe make a little edit here. So let's listen. Good. Okay, sound good. So I'm just going to highlight there and delete. And then I want to copy this good. Actually, let's just zoom right in here and zoom a bit here. Now, I'm using the scroll wheel on my uh, mouse or trackball to scroll here to zoom in by time and scroll here to zoom in the waveform. So I'm going to get this nice and big so you can see this. I'm going to chop that up to there. And then say I want to copy this bit. And maybe I want to stutter it. Let's loop this for the moment using the loop mode button down below. Oh. That's psychedelic, isn't it? Uh, right, let's go ahead and grab it by the title. But now I'm not just going to move it because that'll just move the wave around. So control or command Z, undo. I'm going to hold down the alt key on my keyboard and I'm going to just drag the title and look at that. That's called a stutter. Let's play that. Good. And also okay, so you get the idea. Good. And also up my editing game. Okay, you get the idea of how that's possible. And again, we can do this. To make things... We can stutter here. So again, very, very simple process. Trimming in by just selecting the start of the wave until I get that looking icon. Then left click on my mouse or trackball. Boom. Select all this. You, you can be rough with your selection. You don't have to be, you know, exactly on the ball here. Alt. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Audition. Audition. Okay. Adobe Audition. To make things sound good. And also... Do you get the idea? So that's kind of stuttering. And then, of course, you know, there are other ways I can do things. If I want to repeat this a couple of times, I can control or command C and control or command V here to just, like, repaste that. Now, one of my favorite shortcuts of all time in Adobe Audition that if you don't know, you should know it is... You ready for this? Control, for you PC users, or command, for you Mac users... And the backslash. The, is that the right way? The backslash. or the, That's the forward slash. The backslash. Okay. So backslash. Uh, so control or command backslash and look at what happens when I hit it. Boom. That's a bird's eye view. So no matter what you're doing and how you're zoomed in, this is a kind of reset to normal. It's like the bird's eye view. So say I messed it all up. Control, command, backslash, boom. You've got the overview. And it doesn't matter like if, if I'm zoomed in like that. Control, command, backslash, boom. Uh, say I bring in a music bed later on. Okay. And we put this out over here. It's going to zoom out to whatever is available in my multi-track. Control or command, backslash, boom. Look at that. It's got everything going on there. Now, this works the same in the waveform view. Uh, let's switch off preview mode and just look at this waveform. So say I'm zoomed right in on a particular piece of this and I want to go back out to the original uh, full file view, control or command, backslash, boom, and I've got everything in view. That, hands down, is the single most important keyboard shortcut I think you need to know in Adobe Audition. Control for PC users or the command key for Mac users and the backslash. It'll take you to a bird's eye view. I use it literally all the time when I'm producing. Want to get rid of stuff? It's the delete key. Uh, let's zoom back in over here and see what else we can do. Uh, now, of course, you can raise and increase volume and pan quite quickly. This doesn't really take any uh, masterful um, kind of... Uh, shortcuts. It's just simply selecting the yellow line or the blue line for pan and putting kind of keyframes as they're known on. Okay, so I've just put two keyframes. I'll put a third keyframe, maybe a fourth keyframe there, and I can move this up or down like that. Okay, so it's very, very cool, very, very easy, and very, very nice. Now, there are ways that I can make this even better, by the way, if if I want to. So if, for instance, I want to uh, snap this to a certain position, I can move this to where I want it, like there, and then hold down shift. And then again, see, it's locked in time, so I can move it up and down, but without moving it along and across. See, when I let go of shift, it does that. Uh, another good one to know, by the way, if you want to do fine grain tweaks here, because notice how this kind of like, you know, seems to like move around. It kind of snaps a bit. Look, look at this. So it kind of snaps and I can't quite, you know, can either get like 2 dB of gain or 0 dB, but nothing in between. If I want to get a finer increase, let's look at this in detail. Hold down the control or the command key and then you will actually be able to get like little 1.1 1 .1 decibel uh, increases. So that's the control or command key. 
uh, lets you do a fine grain volume or pan change. And it works with any keyframe. So of course I can go over here and I can bring in different ideas that I want to include here. Uh, for instance, if I pop this open and I say, show me, um, show me my chorus effects. Show me the wet output level. And again, here I can put keyframes here, move them up and down, hold them in time with shift like that, see? Or hold it in time with shift like that. And then of course, control or command will give me that fine grain tweak there, like points of a percentage. It's absolutely amazing. And with that, that is the full summary, the absolutely full summary of some of the most popular keyboard shortcuts that I use in Adobe Audition. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music Radio Creative.com